Welcome back to the chat. Florida Governor Rick Scott is being sued by the state attorney for Orange and Osceola counties, Aramis Ayala. She says the governor acted unconstitutionally when he removed her from 23 homicide cases. Scott had reassigned Ayala's cases to another state attorney by executive order because Ayala had declared her refusal to pursue the death penalty. So she is apparently going to take her own legal action because right. she says that uh, this is not right, that he did this. So who's right and who's wrong? What's going on? You know, technically she's right. She's also saying Brad King, who is the state attorney that was reassigned those cases. The governor has the power to reassign cases under very limited circumstances because the judicial branch and the executive branch on the state level, just like on the federal level, are separate. So okay. judges and courts are not run by the governor. They're run by, you know, prosecutors and judges and defense attorneys and the governor can't swoop in and say no 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 you must do this if there was a conflict if you know let's say she was related to somebody you know in the case and it, it was just the appearance of impropriety or there was some reason she had to get the the whole office basically recused then the governor would come in and he has a list and he would say all right now we're going to give it to this other office it happens all the time i've had it happen in my cases what doesn't happen all the time is that an elected state attorney she's like their melissa nelson mm -hmm. their okay. angela mm -hmm. corey she was elected by an overwhelming majority in mm -hmm. her in her right. circuit and they chose her and she has said you know the death penalty in Florida has been in limbo it has not been constitutional mm -hmm. it hasn't been used it is now back in use I don't know if there'll be another challenge but it, there's been a ton of litigation because the way we were imposing the death penalty was unconstitutional and it's been found unconstitutional repeatedly so she has basically said I'm not seeking the death penalty in these cases the people in her circuit prefer 60% life over death even though it is the law she said this is my position on on these death penalty cases and and because he doesn't agree with her position, he is taking her off of all of those cases. And that is basically inserting himself in the place of the electorate that said, we want this woman, we like what she stands for, and we want her to be our state attorney. Mm -hmm. And he's basically saying, well, no, you can't have her. Now, so, what about the fact that it's executive order? You know, I mean, we've seen the presidents use those to get things done that they think that they can't get done through uh, right. congressional action. That's I mean, an interesting can, question. It's, um, it's a different sort of forum. I mean, and then, you know, you know that when President Obama was president, a lot of people didn't think that he should do things by executive right. order. So executive orders are always controversial anyway, but it's an executive order that is basically taking the place of the judicial branch and saying, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you who should prosecute which cases. And that isn't constitutional and that's not what the governor's job is. Now, his defense, I think, is going to be, listen, the on the, the books in Florida is a death penalty and you cannot unilaterally say, that you are not going to impose it. And, you know, I think you're not doing your job. So obviously that's going to be his argument, right. you know, in defense. But I think, you know, I, I don't know what the damages are. Basically, I think she's saying you, you cannot stop me from doing my job. It's mm -hmm. not a lawsuit like what we're talking about. She's she get. hasn't been fired, has she? Well, he can't. She's elected. I mean, okay, he yeah. can't. Okay, you know, it's right, like saying right. I'm firing Mayor Curry. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. But effectively, he's stopping her from doing her job. So on there's no cases. legitimate lawsuit here. Oh, there is. And She's do you right. think she has a leg to stand on? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. But, the, okay. but the question is, it's not a lawsuit like when we talk about, you know, the guy that gets beat right. up on the airplane. She's right. not going to get $20 million. They're going to either say, yes, Governor Scott can do this, or they're going to say mm -hmm. he can't. Now, I think suing Brad King, who is the other state attorney who took the assignment, yeah, the, it's not his fault. Obviously, right. he took a governor's assignment. Right. That, right. I don't think that whether there's, I mean, unless she's a lawyer, she knows what she's doing. I don't know if there's a reason why she thinks she has to make him a party to it, yeah. if the action's illegal, but I don't know what he could have done differently. I mean, he's not going to say, I'm not taking these cases. That's his job. Now, is she against the death penalty personally? Do we even know? Well, I don't know that if she campaigned on that issue, but okay. what she has said is that she does not believe that as it stands, that capital punishment, I think she, they're, they're saying that she refuses to even consider capital punishment, but she's saying because of the problems we've had with the constitutionality of it, and that is true. I Absolutely. mean, we know that it, the way it was imposed, it has to be unanimous, and our system was taking out of the hands of the jury and putting mm -hmm. it in the hands of the judge, and the Supreme Court 
before the United States has said that it was unconstitutional. So she's right. You know, her argument might be, I don't want us to be litigating this. It's expensive. It goes, yeah. uh, you know, up to the Supreme Court every time we do it. And there's no finality for victims. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of families come forward. And we had this under Angela Corey when she was the state attorney. And sometimes people said, I don't want the death penalty for my family member's murderer. But you're in insisting on seeking it, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it is, a, sometimes it's a heartbreaking process. And it takes mm -hmm. years and years and years. Yeah. For finality. Now, now just so well the, the viewers would know, we were showing the video of the guy who actually murdered the police officer down in Orlando. She was that's over that case. case, so that's right. why we're showing that and video. And there was a pregnant woman. I mean, and, and the argument that they make, and you know, uh, even people against the death penalty will say, look, if you're going to have a death penalty, you know, Dylan Roof is the guy yeah. who deserves it. I mean, yeah. there, there are arguments like that, and this is right. the, the sort of the test case where you say, but you know, so the question would be, why can't the governor just say on this particular case? Why all 23 yeah. cases? Right, yeah. right, right. Interesting. It'll okay. be very interesting. Yeah, to see really. Yeah. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, well, coming up next, a woman whose brand includes luxury decorating projects that are amazing. Find out more about her passion and see her work when we come back. Woo.